The immune response involves white blood cells called lymphocytes. The most important are B and T cells. Each B and T cell is programmed to recognize and respond to one specific protein called an antigen. Different antigens are present on cell membranes. When lymphocytes encounter their specific antigens, they bind in a lock and key manner and destroy the cell. B cells respond by transforming into antibody secreting cells. Their antibody binds to the antigen causing its destruction. Some B cells remain in circulation carrying the memory of that antigen. T cells respond by transforming into helper cytotoxic or memory cells. T helper cells help B cells change into antibody secreting cells. Without helper T cells presenting antigens to a B cell, the B cell does not respond. Cytotoxic T cells act alone without B cells. The cells destroyed by cytotoxic T cells are those infected by a virus or a cancer cell changed by mutation. T cells can become memory cells and remain in the circulation for years, ready to respond again if their antigen should appear. The first time B and T cells are exposed to a specific antigen, the response takes weeks. If re-exposure occurs, B and T memory cells respond immediately to destroy the invader. Normally, the immune response is well controlled. If not, autoimmune disease may occur and self-antigens may be attacked.